We end our podcast session with the weekly dose version of the questionnaire that was used masterfully for 24 years by the great James Lipton inside the actor's studio. And the first question is, Haven Wheelock, what is your favorite drug? Oh, I mean, I have a lot of favorite drugs. Probably caffeine Ooh, will be caffeine. high on my list because without it, I might die. <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, you don't die from caffeine withdrawals, but in general. <laughs> yes, just, metaphorically speaking, of course. Of course. I, I might kill someone without caffeine, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm not pleasant That's literal. before that coffee. Literal. That's literally true. What is your least favorite drug? I hate cannabis. Ooh, no to the cannabis. Yes. I, I know a lot of people not, not down with the cannabis. Yeah. I, the politics, the policy, it's not my friend. I yes. get asked about cannabis a lot. I talk about cannabis a lot. Sure. I, cannabis is boring. Yes, yes. And you know, there'll be people out there who say, oh, well, you didn't find your right strain yet. Ah, look, some people just don't like cannabis. That's the truth. So... Enough with the strains already. Maybe there is no strain out there. There's not a strain for everyone. I don't you... like it. I've tried. I've tried lots. Yes. No, no lack of trying. Uh, what age were you the first time you found yourself under the influence? I like caffeine from the beginning. Um, ah. I got in trouble in middle school for, or for elementary school for snorting pixie sticks. <laughs> Yes. So I don't know. Does that count? <laughs> I, so, I mean, certainly. They're under the influence of sugar. One of the grand drugs. One of the grand legal substances that hook kids from a very young age. I also bum. I also did a few bumps mm -hmm. of pixie sticks myself. Uh, not gonna lie, it's they've been there. You know, it didn't it's do much. It's painful. It's it stings like a son of a bitch, doesn't it? Much better to take uh, <laughs> the, the, on the taste buds. The sugar tastes much better than it does mm -hmm. in, the, in the passageways. Uh, what is your favorite slang word? I know it's not your favorite drug, but what is your favorite slang word for cannabis? Reefer. Reefer. The Reefer Madness. What uh, what celebrity's overdose death has had the most profound effect on you? Ooh. You know, truth be told, I deal with so many overdose deaths in terms of people I care about and friends of mine who have died and people in the work and in the movement. That, like, I mean, the harm reduction movement has had a lot of losses in yes. the last decade. And so... I find it really hard to like prioritize celebs yes. when like people like Dan Big, who is the father of naloxone, died. Yes, yes. Right. So From Chicago, to me, yes, that yes. question is real hard. Like, I hear you. I mean, I was yeah. doing like an all day naloxone training for a bunch of doctors the day Prin it came out that Prince died from fentanyl. So that was like a, a memorable moment. But I think. Instead of like celebrating celebrities who die, I like would rather call out some of my own heroes who Hell are yes. also no longer with us. That is a wonderful answer. What uh, what uh, drug would you like to deal for a living? Oh, I mean, I've been accused of dealing naloxone a few times. Um, <laughs> 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 the naloxone peddler herself. I mean, there was, yeah, there was a proud boy here in Portland who had a hot moment of flyering downtown, calling me the Grim Reaper of Portland, the mother of naloxone. Oh, um, my. The, yeah, see, that see, was The proud cute. boys have got on the anti-naloxone uh, anti train. That's good to see. That's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, if proud boys are protesting me, I'm doing something right. That's the truth. Yes, if 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 uh, if you're uh, arousing the, the the fascists up and out the door, then you know you're doing something right. Mm -hmm. uh, and what drug would you absolutely not like to deal under any circumstances? You know, I'm sure I'd be a really shitty drug dealer in general. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, I would be a terrible, terrible drug dealer. So probably none of them because I would make no money and I would starve to death because I'd be like, oh, I'll share my drugs with you. Yes. Um, yes. So well, you, you must be I a probably should capitalist. not be my career path. No, that that's makes sense. Uh, and finally, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear Dan Big say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Fuck yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Haven we like. I want I want Dan to be proud of me. So yeah, I mean Yes. I, I have a feeling he would be. I hope so. 
Haven, we locked easy your drug users.